the third mainland bridge was indeed reopened on Saturday. Plus TV Africa, Mary Chinda was there to take a look at the first day uh, of work after the reopening. Take a look. A judge to be the second longest bridge in Africa after the 6th October bridge located in Cairo. The third mainland bridge is an 11.8 kilometer bridge. The bridge starts off from Oweronshoki, which is linked to the Apapa Oshodi Expressway and Lagos Ibadan Expressway and ends at the Adeniji Adekunle Interchange on Lagos Island. This bridge in the last 40 years served as a major link between commuters on the island axis and those on the mainland. It was on July of 2020, the 3.5 kilometers of the bridge was cordoned off for special repairs and maintenance. Six bearings, 12 expansion joints and the parapets were to be fixed. This caused heavy traffic obstructions in Africa's most populous city, Lagos. Trips that naturally should take 30 minutes took several hours. Today, the story has changed. The bridge is now reopened. It is 48 hours after this bridge was opened. It is the first Monday since the reopening after over six months. This taxi driver is now so happy to use the bridge. His former nightmare, the traffic, has phased off. When the bridge was low, we have to go and turn around to go and pass the other side. Which is not okay for us. No, in a day. In a day, maybe you make you make like you make like four thousand to three thousand to five thousand. I think I think you understand when the bridge is not when the bridge was okay before you can make it better. When the bridge was locked, you can make more than maybe two thousand, three thousand. He is not alone. This other e-hailing cab driver and others are as excited about the bridge as they are optimistic for better days. Of the Ton Miller Bridge has made um, our driving easy for us again because uh, for the past seven months it has not been easy. It's traffic, cause fatigue on our body, but now everything is easy. We're happy that it's, it's been opening back. But it is mixed reactions for some as the state of the Adekunle ramp in Wadawur and Shoki area of the bridge still looks unsafe. I'm coming from the mainland to the island, there are some points when you are descending down to Ebutemeta, Adekunle, there are some portals that they need to fix there. The Federal Controller Works Lagos is quick to provide a reassurance that this part would be immediately fixed. And it's just the wearing course, which of course will not take uh, eight hours to fill. It will be done in the night. One night, they will just do the resurfacing of that area. And for commuters of this bridge, here's a piece of advice. The bridge is built for everybody to use. It's not uh, to commit suicide. So people should take it easy. With the rehabilitation of the bridge, it is only hoped that commercial activities between the two ends of Lagos increases rapidly. Mary Chinda reporting for Plus TV Africa. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.